Hi there, welcome to She Radio Joy Channel and it is, I don't know, what is it, Saturday 6th of March and I was hoping to be here yesterday doing this drawing and the day before I had my uh, Covid jab uh, which was, I had AstraZeneca which I think has a few more side effects than the other ones and uh, I was feeling absolutely fine then, it was about 10 o'clock, I thought, oh, I think I need to go to bed and suddenly I found it quite hard climbing up the stairs, my knee joints went all funny <laughs> and I got into bed and I was shivering away and I was really cold and then I went to sleep and I woke up about half past one and freezing cold and all I could think about was shredded wheat, so I had to stumble down the stairs and get some shredded wheat and then... <laughs> <laughs> and then I went back to bed. Oh, and I made a hot water bottle. And I went back to bed and, and I went back to sleep. And I woke up about half past four, absolutely boiling hot, like fever hot. And uh, and all I could think about was toast. <laughs> so I had to go down and make some toast. And I thought, oh, this is terrible. I feel ill. I kept thinking, I wonder if I got COVID. <laughs> I kept sniffing things but I thought no that's all right and I can taste the toast in the moment <laughs> so, so um yeah so then I went to sleep and I woke up in the morning thinking oh I feel okay and I did feel okay but just very very tired and by sort of three o'clock in the afternoon I was zapped out probably even earlier than that and I just went to bed and zonked out so that's why I didn't make it yesterday I'm afraid so thank you very much for all your very kind um comments and uh, wishes and um uh, and thanks for all for coming along and today I'm going to be drawing Mac number five let me show you Mac uh oh there we are and Mac says I wish I was in the circus because I just love to juggle balls. And as you can see, Mac is very good at juggling balls. Look, two balls in one go. I think that is pretty good. I I, I want to think that they're not connected somehow by a piece of rope or a <laughs> stick or something. I want to think that they're independent and Mac is really juggling those balls. <laughs> so this is Mac that we're going to draw today. And let me come back to here and let me come back to here. And well, I've been practicing this all day, but it seems to have gone wrong. But let's see if it works. Let's not talk about it. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> oh, dear. And um, so anyway, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of feeling right. I'll probably have to be flaked out by the end of, of this and go and have a little lie down. But I have my cup of tea and... Oh, hang on. More than that, I have. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> come to the overhead. Dun, dun, dun. From Firefly Press. And here we are. You can share this moment of joy with me as I open up. There's actually, if I go to the overhead and zoom right out, um, then I can open this up. And uh, is this the right is this the right end to open it up? I'm not quite sure. So let's see. I don't, oh yeah, yeah. There we go. So this is this is a moment of joy as I open out. Oh, badges! <laughs> as I open out. Uh, here's to great success with Walker Book Two. Best wishes, Simone. Thank you, Simone. <laughs> there we are. Look, copies. So. You are seeing them as I'm seeing them for the first time. Copies of my new book, Walker, The Mystery of the Missing Millions. And if you look, uh, let me try and get the, you can see it's, it's part, part glossed. So, so part areas of it are glossed. And you'll also notice from the previous book, he's had a bit of a haircut. <laughs> I know quite often I'm asked, what do, um, you know, do, do publishers make you change? Um, things and so oh here we are so uh, yes so sometimes they, they don't make you um I was asked do you think maybe we could make his hair sort of not quite so weird uh, so that's what I did I gave him just a little bit of a trim uh, because uh, when I first did it it was, it was his hair I wanted his hair to look just like um, Stella's hair here because you get to look like your dog don't you or your dog gets to look like you and um 
So yes, yeah, so I've given him there. And look, I haven't looked inside this yet. Look, here we are. He's had even more of a haircut there, I think. And actually, I think in the, oh, this is nice as well. I hadn't actually seen this bit. So, um, so we've got a cast of characters and there's the book. And as I sort of showed you, I, I paint them in a uh, gray tone and that's the way they print. <gasps> the police are involved now. <clears throat> and all sorts of stuff going on. And at the back, I don't know how to draw Walker and Stella section as well, which um, is a bit of fun too. So there we go. Dun, dun. It's in my hands. And badges. How do you get badges? Well, if you go to the Firefly <laughs> page um, and pre-order, so that was actually before 4th of March. So we passed that, aren't we? Yes, yeah, so you've got a free badge if you pre-ordered before the 4th of March. So I'm going to put my walk badge on. I'm going to wear my walk badge with pride. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and that's what this is all about. So this book is actually being published on the 25th and I was going to do 25 dogs <laughs> up until the 25th. So I'm going to have to carry on to the 26th now, aren't I? Or I could call, change it into 24 dogs because it was all about publication day. Um, or slip another one in. I'm not quite sure. What do you think? So, um, uh, the, the, so I'm doing these dogs to, um, to celebrate that I'm going to be, pub this book is going to be published on the 25th and um, and in the third book that I am planning and plotting, there will be a big scene in a dog show and the dogs are all dogs of influence. Uh, you can see it up there. Mm, where is it? The hashtag dogs of influence. And, uh, <laughs> and they're all kind of those kind of dogs you find on Instagram and things like that. Fact, I noticed I haven't quite picked it up yet. I've noticed I've had a message on Instagram, but I, my brain's not quite there at the moment. Somebody's saying, hello, uh, I've got a following in such and such on, on Instagram. So yeah, maybe they're going to want me to do that. So today uh, I'm working on Mac, who is a juggling kind of dog who wants to be in the circus. So I thought, I'm instantly, I thought he needs a little rough, doesn't he? And yeah, and I, I don't think any of the other dogs I would get to stand up on their hind legs, but I think a kind of a circus dog doing tricks would do that. And this is, um, uh, I can't remember, Hunter, who, who's going to be the dog tomorrow. Um, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> these are characters from the Great Pottery Slam Down, Showdown, whatever it is. Uh, and this is Princess Di. I was watching The Crown last night. So it's not actually Princess Di, it's the actress playing Princess Di. So anyway, I've been thinking about uh, Mac and if we have Max standing in the front, very proudly standing up, it could get a bit embarrassing. So I thought it might be better to draw him from behind. Uh, let me get a piece of paper here and I'll show you what's going on. Um, yeah, because we don't want to, you know, frighten the horses or anything like that. So let me find my glasses. So um, we kind of want Max head. So uh, I'm always kind of starting off with that um, sort of circle bit there. Let me zoom in. Oh my goodness, the sun's coming quite bright now. Uh, this is how it always happens. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a kind of a studio lighting thing for this eventually. Um, and so if we're kind of thinking then that's kind of where Max's eyes are gonna be round about there. Max, did I say Mac? Mac, yeah, Max. Max eyes, that's M-A-C-C -C apostrophe S. <laughs> and the nose will be about there. And then this great kind of whiskery kind of mouth and can have a, now this is where this is where it stops being a, 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 a portrait and starts being a, a caricature really, or a character. And um, so, we want a little bit like that. And then the kind of ears are at triangles like that. And strangely, let me pop back to there. Uh, not to there, no, uh, to this one. Um, and if I come down here, you can see the angle that the fur is going is actually kind of appears to be sideways. 
um, but it's it's not. <laughs> but it's oh, well, we want to be on that one, don't we? Um, so in fact, the fur is sort of going that way, which is somehow counterintuitive. And then we want to have a kind of a back view. So he's got a chunky little body. Uh, he's a border terrier. And I won't say it's border terrier. Then I'm 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 assuming that the border is um, between S England and Scotland. I think that's the border that's being described. And um, and his his bits here. No, this is actually the heel. See, I'm doing my <laughs> I'm doing my <laughs> And anatomy lessons at the same time as all of this. So what you have is there's going to be a pelvis in there and then a femur and is that the tibia? I don't know. Anyway, that's the bit. So that would be the knee. And then you've got the long joint coming down to the ankle. So this is actually the, the heel that sticks out at the back there. And then you've got the the foot. So these are all the tarsals, are they? Going down to the digits at the end like that. So so that's what goes on. And we want kind of a little bit of a, ooh, a rump in there. And that will sort of come out there again to the heel and then down. And then we want this um, sort of oh, curve will be coming down about there and in about there. And then we're going to fit this sort of rough in about there. And, and another reason I want the uh, um, Mac to have a rough is because it's a, another joke, isn't it? You can, say, you can say, Mac, what have you got round your neck? Rough. Oh, this dog can talk. Um, yeah, OK, it's a cheap joke, but, you know, you've got to go with it while you can. So um, we'll have a, a paw kind of sticking out from underneath. And this is the elbow. So we've got shoulder blade right up here and, and quite a short uh <laughs> i know i haven't i think once upon a time i knew what these bows were called but then i was doing biology a level when i was 18 or something and so um we'll do have a paw there and maybe another paw just showing about there and uh, that looks about right and then we're going to want to have Three balls. I think that's quite enough. I think I'd, I'd be impressed. <laughs> I'd be impressed if it was just three balls. If a dog could juggle three balls, and we're going to want to have a tail as well. So that's going to be sort of coming out like that in a very wiggly kind of way. Um, and then probably also we might have kind of the circus ring in there, something like that. And then. That's just not going to be quite big enough. So let me get a bigger sheet of paper, get the right side around. And, and then I'm going to get my um, light table, light pad. I keep wanting to call it a light table. I'll just zoom out a bit so you can see what's going on. And as ever, so this is my who we on <laughs> light pad, which you'll, you'll find links to everything that I'm using down in the description below and as ever I need to say I'm an Amazon affiliate so if you buy anything from those links I will get a small commission but you will not be charged anything extra but it will help to keep this show on the road so that's a good thing um, and also I will I'll answer your questions in time but I just need to sort of concentrate on this so I'll, I'll come and if you've got questions and comments and things Put them in there and I will come along later. Um, now, um, Mac has very definite eyebrows. So, <laughs> so I'm going to put those in first so that they're kind of... Because um, you want to put the things that are nearest to you in first. And we want to have a sort of eyeball looking up there. And then we're going to want the nose kind of coming like that. And then this very, very whiskery chops like that. And, and and this is where it really changes because this is a much more of a human mouth than a dog mouth. Um, and it sort of becomes more of a, 
<laughs> a character, a sort of story character, than than a portrait of a dog. And I'm just going to do those kind of going down that way. And Mac is a really kind of wiry um, dog, and which is quite hard to draw. And, and so I'm just going to draw quite a lot in it because uh, he's quite dark on the bridge of his nose like that and then I'm going to put this rough in here so I'm just going to wiggle that in there like that and maybe a bit around there um, and then we need to get these kind of angles coming in that's probably a bit too high actually <laughs> Uh, and then which way do I want to do that? I want that to be coming down that way and then quite, quite sort of furry uh, like that and quite furry like that and quite furry all together and then out into the thigh and then down into very furry covered feet and I think here we need to draw the tail probably like that and then we can so then we can bring that down sort of like that and then we can get that leg in and I really want it to look quite on tippy toes in a um, a balancing sort of way I think I yeah it's too late now, but I've <laughs> uh, the the rough is it's it's just a little bit too high. I wonder if I can um, somehow bring it around like that. Let's sort of um, we'll see how that goes. And then we're going to want these juggling balls. And such a clever dog. <laughs> and and I feel I've actually kind of met um, <laughs> at Mac because um, he, he sort of turns up on my Patreon Zoom sessions on Saturday afternoon. So normally I would be doing a, a Zoom session on Patreon <laughs> this time. <laughs> but um, I just didn't think I was going to be able to do everything. So uh, that's cancelled till next week. I'm uh, sorry about that. And um, Linda, who Mac lives with, sort of comes along and sometimes Mac does as well. <laughs> uh, there. So let's draw these stars in there as well. And there'll be a bit of a star going on there. Oh. And uh, we're going to see ooh, just a little bit of a star there, probably. And we want some whoosh, 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 whoosh. Hmm. I think we need a little bit more sort of coming in down there. I think. Yeah. Right. Let's see if we can paint this. <laughs> uh, we need a lot of sort of tan kind of colours with this. Oh. And uh, there we go. Hang on, how are we doing? Um, I'm trying to find anything like that. So, um, I have got here, this is a Winsor & Newton Sketches set, which is a really good starter set. <laughs> You're going to get so bored with me saying this each time. But uh, it's a really good um, sort of in inexpensive um, starter set, but a sort of good quality for starting. I think, you know, if you want to um, do a bit of serious watercolour, then you need to start somewhere. And I think this is a, a, a sort of a good um, compromising quality and everything. So it's it's sort of student kind of quality. Um, and, and I think a lot of the quality in um, watercolours comes down to sort of how grainy they are and how light fast they are. That's another sort of thing. So professionals um, who are doing sort of paintings that are going to be framed and stuck up on walls, they want the colours not to disappear. They don't want them to fade too quickly. 
and so they'll want um, you know sort of good light fastness and that sort of tends to cost more um, I'm I'm not really bothered about that because most of the work that I do as soon as it's done it just gets put in a folder and forgotten about so it never <laughs> sees the never sees the light of day never never mind the sun um, so uh, so light fastness to me doesn't really isn't such a problem um, and and I think another thing will be um, the Kind of blendability and and granularity as well. <laughs> so, um, watercolor paints are basically the um, uh, pigments that are ground up and bound together in in a gum. And if they're, um, you know sometimes if, if they're really really cheap they can be really grainy and, and 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 they will sort of look grainy on the page so cheap cheap ones will look very grainy and and so the more you you spend you know the, the less grainy they should be some some particular colors you, you're not going to be able to make them not grainy it's just it's just <laughs> that's just the pigment um, and they, they are just grainy like that. Some of the blues can be very grainy. Um, and so what I'm doing is here, while it's still wet, I'm this. So this is all yellow ochre so far. While it's still wet, I'm dropping in um, more concentrated um, bits, and but just into certain areas because I'm trying to build up sort of shade and form. Um, so we can uh, have some across the. Oh, uh, uh, mm. so I seem to remember. Oh, let me go back to. Yeah, we really want kind of whitishy whiskers, don't we? So maybe, maybe I've gone too much on that. Uh, so I'm going to just wash over that. And this is um, <laughs> if you're watching every day, you've heard this all before. This is <laughs> an aquash. Um, water brush so all the water is in the handle and as I'm, I'm not squeezing like mad it's just a tiny bit of pressure um, to get some water onto the page so then that's kind of thinning what's on there so then I can lift some of the color off with the bit of um, kitchen towel which you always want to have close by when you're, <laughs> when you're doing watercolor and um, uh, I, I remember I remember once hear, hearing, but before I'd ever thought of using kitchen towel, it, it was actually Prince Charles suggested kitchen towel, but it wasn't actually Prince Charles. Anyway, so he was talking about watercolour because he likes doing watercolour. He was on the radio. And um, and somebody said, oh, I gather, you know, so-and-so, some famous watercolour artist, you know, you asked them to come and see you and give you a lesson or something. He said, yes, yes, I said, yes. And um, so... I can't remember who it was, and they said, "Well, you know, did you learn anything?" Well, yes, I did. And I said, "You know, how do you do your clouds?" And he said, "Well, well, sir, because he was American, I think. Well, sir, what you do is <laughs> you paint a lot of blue, and then you lift some off with kitchen towel." He said, well, "But that's cheating." And I thought, "Oh, well, that sounds interesting." So I got myself some kitchen towel and sort of played around a bit, and and now whenever I have watercolor, I always have this. <laughs> sort of crumpled up bit of um, a kitchen towel in my hand and and when I go out sketching throughout the day I'm picking up things there every time I have you know a sandwich from a sandwich bar or something you know then I, I keep the the napkin or the serviette and it sort of goes into my pocket and when I get home I sort of get this great pile of disgusting things and what that what's really really bad is when you Really need to blow your nose, and you reach into your pocket and <laughs> and pull out a, a a piece of you know kitchen towel or a, a Kleenex or something that you've been using, <laughs> which has got sort of lots of red all over it or something like that. You blow your nose, and then people go, <gasps> and when you pull it out, it's got red and blue <laughs> stuff. Yeah, and you haven't kind of really 
realised before, yeah, because you had to catch that sneeze, didn't you? Yeah. So, um, I think I'm going to do something like that and just um, just try and get this bit of sort of feeding of that fluffiness in there. And I'm going to need to go over to something like burnt umber which is a much darker brown in into that's really too dark I'm, I'm putting too much on there there um up into there and, and sort of and i can use that as sort of shadow under there and just little kind of flicks up there and then also i want this umber on on the ears very definitely because he has these very dark ears um, and and then we come to the problem of black here. So I <laughs> I, I don't like black in watercolor because it's just too dark and it just punches a hole in the paper. And so I, what I need is something really dark for the nose. And so you basically get your your closest um, grays and things like that with a really dark umber here. And this is um, French ultramarine. And as you kind of mix them together, you'll go from a brownie grey to a bluey grey. And how dark it is depends on how little water you have. So how in, in, intensely you've mixed it. Really. And so I'm going to um, draw that and leave a little square. And I'm going to clean the brush like that and then drag it into the rest of the nose because I don't want it all to be so I've got, gone over the edge there, which is not, not good. Um, and I think I need a little bit more in there. Um, now, while I was um, feeling a bit strange <laughs> following my jab, um, I had um, I was sort of checking mail or whatever and everything, and then I have this memory of um, that Karen um, sent me an email or a message on somewhere. The trouble with um, social media and stuff is you get messages coming from this direction and that direction. And you're not entirely sure where th things will come from. And I haven't been able to find it again. And did I dream it in my... Um, a sort of feverish state. Did I did I dream it, Karen, that you had a bit of an accident? Oh, I I hope you didn't, and I hope I dreamed it, uh, and that you said you were okay. But um, oh, I'll have a look, see if Karen's watching. Um, and that's been troubling me all day because I cannot find find where where that came from. I don't know if it came from a dream. Oh, I'm looking for. No, I haven't got anything. Oh, trail. Oh, trails had the jab. Oh, you had the jab. Well done. Good. Uh, Karen, American. Have I lit the uh, carrot? Uh, carrot. No, I'm still looking for. Still looking for a reply. There. No, there we are. And um. Uh, Karen, I noticed you're saying, have I lived in America? No, I've just see, seen an awful lot of American movies, I think. Um, and I just always had a, a an ability to mimic, I think, and have seen a lot of American movies in my life, as sort of most people have, I suppose. And American TV. Uh, and I have been to America once or twice and and it's um you now i kind of i kind of got better i i, I used to be really, really, really i used to be really bad at sort of just sort of falling into local accents um karen oh goodness me yes karen i did oh, i didn't dream it um i did total my car hitting a telephone pole oh my goodness rugby came through the back side of the crate. Ah, oh, I think he's hurting a bit. Oh my goodness! I well, I hope you are okay. That's um, 
that's not good. I I didn't, you know, I'm, I'm kind of absolutely with you there because although luckily I wasn't in the car, Mrs. Rayner, total dark car about a month ago. And um, yeah, uh, I'm feeling for you, Karen, and I'm completely with you there. And, and, um, and for rugby, I hope, hope rugby is okay. Um, it's a scary, scary thing. A telephone pole is not good either. That's that's really, really scary. Uh, yeah, telephone poles don't. They're pretty solid objects, aren't they? They're not going anywhere. Um, but so any yes, I can't. I can't think where where you mentioned it. There's, I just can't find the the the, uh, the the message. I know you sent me a message, but I just can't find it anywhere. Um, right, I'm going to have to put a little bit. This rough is too high. <laughs> but uh, there we go. So I think we need some bright colours on the um, on the balls there. So I'm going to put. So I'm leaving a little bit of white for uh, shininess there. I should have left a bit more white in the eyes actually as well. Uh, I think I'm talking too much. <laughs> and let's have a bit of yellow in that one, and then we can have oh, let's have blue. There, Oop, I clean the brush again. Uh -huh. And then um, I think we'll just have. Um, I'm trying to think how am I going to do this? I think if I do that there and across like that. Leaving a little gap at the bottom and at the top, like that. And anyway, well, the good thing is it's uh, it's not spring, but it's uh, it's a sunny day here. And when I go out into the gardens, things are popping up. They are desperate to go now. And. I've been just tidging a bit here and there, planting tomato seeds and things like that. So, um, so summer can't be that far away. Well, spring. Let's get let's get to spring first. But of course, some of you, <laughs> some of you might be on the other side of the world, in which case you're midsummer at the moment and uh, downhill to winter. But anyway, <laughs> let's not dwell on that. <laughs> um, let's do something like that, and. We want some kind of spit and sawdust, don't we, in the in the ring down here? Oop. And then again, we're going to want a bit of shadow, so we're going to mix brown and blue. Get that grey. <laughs> I find it so much easier just to reach for my neutral tint, which is what I normally use for this. Or you could use. Paints grey for a grey, but you don't get that in the set. So I'm trying to sort of do this with with a basic set. And uh, I'm going to use some some crimson, but that's got mixed up with some brown in there. Let's keep try and keep that There's some pink. And I think we'll have green on that. We'll have crimson there. And then while it's still wet, I just drop a little bit more in on top of it and that'll just make it sort of give it that sort of form that roundness and then I'm going to use a bit of green I'm very reluctant with greens I think I remember when I first started paint when I was 18 or something and I kind of did I say this <laughs> I think I did and uh, I I inherited my sister's oil paints and there was I think it was just about the only tube that had anything left in it. It was sap green. It was like, oh, grass. Um, and I got a bit carried away with sap green, I think. Um, but I've always found greens quite difficult. They're very difficult to print. I know that. Um, I think I am going to say, oh, maybe I should just put a little bit more blue into there. Make it a bit thinner. Just a bit whoosh, whoosh, like that. Whoosh, whoosh. 
bit more sort of whooshiness and a bit more waggly tail and maybe a bit more wobbliness that's probably too much <laughs> can you have too much wobbliness anyway there we go that dog's doing tricks <laughs> so, oh now i just remembered I, I should be able to do something like that so if i come here and i can change that wait a minute wait a minute so if i change that to that yeah that works cool <laughs> so oh my goodness quite a lot of let's see what you have to say oh just uh, judy in the big shed says i just realized my specs make things on my desk look curved no wonder i can't draw straight lines <sighs> yes that happens and i find also that you know if you kind of do that you kind of find things <laughs> horizontals stop or they curve up at the edges they do kind of weird things it depends how uh depends how your um eyes are doesn't it yeah how, how bad they are um karen, karen hello we are uh, chris bin Lang. gabriel says wow that sounds terrible but i think you mean not feeling well <laughs> we moved on uh karina hola nice to see you too um bamboo ninja hello sure i've always loved your drawing videos thank you very much um here we are trails higher 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 going going through all of this go through this up oh, Tavi says the cover looks really nice thank you and badges says judy big day congratulations it is it is that doesn't help does it if i move it over <laughs> that's better there we are you can see in fact we can go i look i've got another button thing i can press yes <laughs> So, um, uh, yes, I look like my sloth. I look like my sloth toy. Uh, I missed something there. <laughs> Stacy says, I tried, but no luck to the US. Is that my book? Yes, I don't think it's available in the uh, on Amazon there anyway. Yeah, it's, it will be soon. It will be. Um, maybe after it's published. Um, Shahira Begum says, I love your drawings. Thank you, Eddie ZX. Ha ha, lol funny. Uh, so, so it says, keep meaning to get one of those light boxes known in the animation as onion skins. Yes, absolutely. And I, I think in the animation, they used to be, I think it was like on a rotating kind of table and the little pegs at the top so that all the different sheets of paper. Um, that's what I didn't do this time. Or did I? No, I did. Yes, yes. No, I was, I, I, there's, there's a whole little phase. I didn't do the onion skin phase in between, which is why the rough is like that. That's right. So, because <laughs> normally, <laughs> normally I would have used layout paper um, after I'd done that first sketch, and I would have done another sketch to this just to sort of refine those little things, and I would have worked out that's that rough isn't right, and I would have got that right. That's where I went wrong. You see. And, <laughs> and so uh let's get that done um uh, yes so uh, and and in animation then um there would be little uh pins at the top and the paper had holes in it and you could uh, use the paper which is really really thin onion skin paper it's called or bank paper but it's very very thin and you can sort of draw through and you can sort of get the <laughs> get the feeling of the animation going on um so yes um and so but on on these uh light light pads you don't have those pins that's that's the thing uh and congratulations on new but thank you um uh, big shed answers <laughs> plenty of time for those not signed up to join our patreon thank you gd <laughs> uh default animations can i get a shout out i think you just had one um <laughs> uh, dumb frog did someone recommend this drawing oh i know so this popped up in my recommendation out of nowhere that's among us well among us you are among us i'm very welcome to um there we are uh, never mind I'm a subscriber. There we are. Mato uh, miedo miedo cheating. I think that's probably thinking about the, the, using the light pad. It is not cheating. It's only cheating when you copy someone else's work and claim it as your own. This is all my own work. <laughs> um, uh, Karen, your American accent is really good. Your American accent. I, <laughs> I had a channel um, a long time ago called shoe rain or something i can't remember anyway and so i and oh yeah and there was this christmas thing where you had to do a christmas thing on 
iPhone every day in December, iPhone December. And somebody said, could I do a whole thing in an American accent? So I did a whole episode in an American accent. <laughs> I think it was Christmas shopping. I can't remember something. And so people thought it was hilarious. And then I started doing other accents. And then people started getting really upset and threatening to come and kill me and stuff. You know, how dare you take our accent? In the... So I stopped doing accents because some people take offence, <laughs> especially if you don't do them terribly well. Uh, among us, I don't remember subscribing. Though someone else in the family probably took my phone to subscribe while watching someone draw stuff. Well, there you go. But... You're here. That's the main thing. Dunfrog, do you practice these same drawings before you do them? Well, you, you, I, sh I showed you at the beginning the uh, in my sketchbook, um, which I now lost. Uh, it was here. <laughs> oh, here it is. Yeah, I showed you my sketchbook before. That, um, yeah. So I, yeah, I've done quite a bit of practice, haven't I? So it's sort of starting. It starts there. So yeah, I've been thinking, certainly thinking about it over the past few days um, and little practice sessions. And this afternoon I did a little practice session just to have a think about it. Yeah, um, because otherwise I had sort of thought, um, I had thought when I started uh, this that um, I would sort of come at it completely cold. But I think then, you know, we're talking about sort of a two or three hour kind of session. <laughs> I'm really kind of thinking about it. So, uh, Alejandro Moraga. Yay! Good picture. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and Don Frog, I don't know why you said yay, but I feel the same too. <laughs> I drop a light because a good picture there. Trails. Drawing. Have my jab today. Yes, if that's good though, isn't it? But you've had had it haven't you yeah so but anyway you're building up even more antibodies that's the main thing Alejandro is talking about lots of different colors Judy good news you had the jab trails yes hope the is soon passes and Karen yes oh goodness me um I, I do hope you are okay a bit achy and have a seat belt burn on my neck yes yeah uh but rug seems okay good um Sorry to say, after the jab later, it will feel like you just got run over because my mum felt like that. It depends on which uh, which uh, vaccine you're getting because um, Mrs. Rainer and Mrs. Rainer, my mum and my wife, they both had Pfizer and they feeling a lot better. And uh, Mrs. Rainer, my wife, was uh, met um, a friend of hers who is a vaccine nurse and she's actually giving um, injections locally. And she said... That yes, that a lot of people having the Pfizer are are, are really fine uh, afterwards, and it's the AstraZeneca because it's a different uh, it's a different process making AstraZeneca, and you're very much sort of having a a, a a version of COVID, you know, to to so you're having to fight against it to build those antibodies much more. Um, so yeah. Um, uh, we're spending, I could have watercolour. There you are. Oh, Karen, hope you get better, said Karina. Um, Karen has said, we have a vet appointment with specialist next week. Good, good. Uh, um, Karen, I recommend, I commented on Thursday during the YouTube video. Was that it? Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I think, was that at the end afterwards? I can't remember. Yeah. Anyway, because I would have said something otherwise, I'm sure. Um, Octavia B. In Romania, is snowing right now. <laughs> uh, big shed, Alejandro. Can you please not talk the chat? Thank you. Yeah, Karen McMillan. Love the contrasting colours in this one. Dunfrog, I wonder what Shu looked like when he was younger. Well, you know, a much younger version of what I am now. Um, I, if you go onto my website, deep, deep somewhere in my website, I think there are pictures of me somewhere when I was a bit younger. I think they're quite hard to find now because there's so many links over the years. Um, uh, the Dragon Slayer. Is that Welsh? No. Uh, Rice, you're so talented. Thank you. Um, Don't probably he had more hair. Oh, you got a picture. Oh, oh yeah. Flamazine. <laughs> I did. I had a lot more hair. Mind you, I got locked down here. Um, <laughs> so, cute, so clever dog. I think Linda is going to love it. I hope so. Um, Riley looks great. Shoot, thank you. Is he the singer? Yes, I am. Yeah, 
<laughs> I says have to leave. Show to see our fun to watch. How hamza, thank you. So I need a hello shoe, nice sketch. He is the blah, 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 travel sketches. Adventure Road Travel Sketches. Good morning, shoe from Oregon, USA. Good morning to you. I hope you're okay. And uh, Alejandro is getting in you know, a lot going on there. Stacey Newby, what is Macy's online name? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, the dumb frog, but good thing she is a stress reliever. Okay, everybody, take a deep breath. And let it all go. <laughs> Uh, tornado fire. How long have you been an illustrator? I have been an illustrator. I actually went full time as an illustrator and sort of signed up business and everything like that in uh, 1987. So that's a long time. <laughs> I can't do that maths. Um, tornado fire, blah, blah, blah. We've got a lot of conversation going on in here. Uh, Trails had Pfizer, so you should be much, much better. And Sharon CR had Pfizer. I needed three days to rest. It's interesting, isn't it? I think everybody reacts differently. So there we go. Um, uh, Kenta Akiyama, hi, how are you? Uh, Lisa Bella, greetings from Houston. Hi, how are you? Is, how's everything in Texas? Is it all sort of getting back together again? You've been having a hard time in Texas. Um, Sharon CR in California. Hi, how are you? Um, Stacey, you'd be Mac the Marvellous. There we are. We got the answer. Uh, Kenta Akiyama says, which is better, rotaring or Derwent? Well, they're just two totally different things. They're so rotaring of pens and <laughs> Derwent of pencils. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so you can't really compare them, I'm afraid. So there we go. Um, I think I'm going to have a little lie down. I certainly have a cup of tea. Well, I could start finishing my cup of tea. My Christmas mug. Mm -hmm. So thank you all very much for watching. And I will be back here tomorrow at four o'clock with Hunter. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, and I'll see you then. So um, thank you very much for being here. And what can I do? Oh, I've got this button here. Where, did I do that earlier? I can't remember anyway. I can do that button easier now. The banner still says Backpack Beast. You're absolutely right. Sorry. I could actually change that now just just to make you happy. Hang on. <laughs> Which one is it? Uh, I could just do... Whoosh, look, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> Linda Hyde says, I love Mac and showing his character. Thank you. Because he seems a bit of a, a bit of a scamp as we used to say. <laughs> um, so thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. And I have only got an outro for the Wednesday drawing show. So I will do that again because I can press that little one single button now. Well, I can do that one and then I can do that and I can say <laughs> cheerio, see you tomorrow. <laughs>